8th annual day of convocation was celebrated at Institute Auditorium Negrims on Monday. Faculties, paramedics and students of Negrims were present on the occasion. The program started with an invocation song by Negrims MBBS students, followed by welcome address by the organizing chairman. Dignitaries lighted the lamp and announced the program opened. In the Raghandi oration, on the topic arts of grand writing was delivered by the guest of honor, Professor C. Aditan. Detailed information were imparted to the students as well as faculties for making the research project. As well as saves the patient not to suffer more morbidity. Hence, the need of time is to inculcate the ethics in all aspects of the profession. Any profession, when it crosses the boundary of ethics, it has to suffer the damages. Hence, more than your skills, try to be honest in delivery of your services. If you follow your ethics, you will be a figure known in the society because you are following ethics, ethics which you guide to serve the populations, no regard of money or other things. Serve the populations with your knowledge you have gained. That ethics should be inculcated by you during your professional careers. Another more thing is honesty. Honesty is a rare treasure, but it takes you to topmost position if you sincerely believe in it. Hence, be honest to your professional service. Rest will follow you automatically. Don't worry and get pains for minting money, acquiring power, etc. Because if you want to earn money, if you want to have power, this doctor profession is not the profession. Doctor's profession is the right to serve the populations, not to earn money and matter. That you must be very careful. Everything will follow with your sincere sustenance of this once you keep the self-interest away from your focus. Take the advantage of using all the available technologies because nowadays healthcare is evolving and changing dramatically. When I was a student in 1970s, that time doctors in the society were known by name and they are known by their personal skills, by their personal wisdom, by their personal contributions. But with the last 40 decades, four decades, you will find we have doctors, clinicians, who give the decisions not on their skills, but mostly on the evidence-based medicines.